Hi everyone, my name is Tessa and I am a Conflict Transformation and Social Justice MA student studying here at Queens. I originally moved to Belfast in September of 2021 and I just wanted to share some of my international trips that I've taken while I've been studying here in Northern Ireland since it is a lot easier to than it is from home back in the States. So the trips that I've been on were to Italy and Switzerland in my first semester. I went during my reading week and over spring break for this year, I went to Scotland. And when I came back, I went to the Netherlands to celebrate the end of the semester and then to Cyprus. And for the rest of the summer, I'm planning on heading over to England and over to Portugal. The first trip was to Italy. So I ended up doing that um, to meet a friend who was traveling during that time and it just happened to be right over my reading week which is when you get a week break to prepare for your midterms or finals so i worked on my papers that i had coming up ahead of time and i ended up taking a direct flight out of dublin to rome we spent a couple days in rome honestly i didn't have my expectations super high i thought it was going to be one of those places that was going to be really touristy and i ended up actually having an amazing time we checked out all of the famous spots like the Trevi Fountain, the Colosseum, but we also went to the Vatican Museums. And then we ended up taking a short flight over to Venice. Venice was really beautiful. I'm glad that I was able to make it. We ended up doing a boat tour where we got to check out a couple other islands like the Burano and Murano Islands around Venice. And then we took a train over to Milan. So we were only in Milan for a couple of hours, but the train ride from Milan into Switzerland is absolutely gorgeous if you ever get a chance to take it. We went through passport control while we were on the train, and then we ended up at Interlaken in Switzerland. And it's just really a beautiful small town. We ended up uh, paragliding while we were there. I have a huge fear of heights, so it was really nice to get that experience. And just here is a clip of it. You can see that I'm a, li a little anxious, but I'm, I really did have a good time. We also did the hike there, which was really cool to be able to hike the Swiss Alps. The next trip was over to Scotland this semester. So we ended up taking a flight from Belfast International. It was so short, I think it was less than an hour, and we flew into Glasgow. Uh, we spent a night there and we walked around, we saw the University of Glasgow, we went into a couple museums, and we even spent the day in Edinburgh, which was a just a short train ride away. Uh, here you can see Arthur's Seat, absolutely gorgeous this time of year. Uh, all of the yellow flowers are out. and. At first we thought it was kind of like a little hill, uh, so we might not have been dressed the part, but it was still a cool experience to get to do. We walked all throughout the castle as well. We went thrift shopping and uh, went into a couple of vintage stores. I got to catch up with a friend who's studying at the University of Edinburgh as well. Uh, so that was all together a really nice experience. But the reason that we chose Scotland for our little weekend trip during spring break was to see Bastille. And that was a really, really fun concert. I had never seen them live before. And I just didn't realize how many songs of theirs that I knew all of the words to. It's just really fun and a really good experience. Also the opener, Dylan, is viral on TikTok and she was amazing. Her stage performance was great. And um, actually knowing a couple of her songs as well, it was just overall a really great time. The next trip was to Amsterdam. We took another short and direct flight from Belfast International over to the Netherlands. That trip was probably one of my favorite this year. I think part of it was just the relief of being done with papers for the semester. I literally submitted my last paper five minutes before we left for the flight. Almost forgot my passport, but we remembered it before we left. But other than that, we didn't have any other hiccups on the trip. When we got there, we did the Wonder Experience, which is this colorful, different like rooms kind of thing where you can take photos. There's different rooms, like there's one that was a silent disco. I think all in all though, our favorite was the ball pit. And then we also did the Anne Frank house. If you are interested in going, I definitely suggest booking online ahead of time, like a couple weeks in advance. It does sell out pretty quickly and there's a really long line. You don't end up booking ahead. We also were just in time for the tulips as well. It was nice to see some of them throughout the city. So definitely a really good time of year to go. A couple days after I got back from the Netherlands, I actually was already planning a trip to head over to Cyprus. I was meeting a couple of my friends from undergrad who were studying abroad for the semester there. 
So I took a flight from Belfast International over to Liverpool and then over to Lanarka Airport in Cyprus. From there, I took an airport shuttle into Nicosia since my friends are studying at the university. So while we were there, we went to Nisi Beach in Iapa. Uh, it was just really beautiful. The water was so blue. It had music playing on the beach. It was just a really fun atmosphere. And I'm really glad I got to go. We ended up also traveling to the north side of Cyprus, which is technically the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. Uh, so we went through passport control to get over the border and there was just a totally different atmosphere on the different sides. While we were there, we went to a couple of different fast places. When we came back, we ended up going to Larnaca Beach so I could go from the beach over to the airport for my flight home. And then uh, again, I went through Liverpool and then back to Belfast. So even though that one was a bit further, it was still much easier to get to than it would be if I was flying all the way from the States. For the summer, I'm planning on going to Manchester, England uh, to see Harry Styles. I also have another trip planned to Lisbon, Portugal, uh, which is also related to music. I really love Phoebe Bridgers and all of her concerts sold out immediately, but her festivals were still available. So I'm gonna go see Haim and Two Door Cinema Club and Phoebe Bridgers in Lisbon. And I've never been to Portugal, so just a really fun reason to go with a couple friends and just check out the city as well and then hopefully some other things will pop up. I definitely have a couple other countries on my list. Don't know if I'll make it all of those places this summer, but hopefully eventually, and I can always use it as an excuse to travel back here to Belfast. Just some tips for traveling as well. Definitely as a student on a budget, I usually fly with EasyJet or Ryanair. I also typically get hostels everywhere I go. I've had some good and some bad hostel experiences. I've found that especially like backpacker uh, hostels are really good ones to go to if you want to look for people who are solo traveling, uh, who are looking to make friends. So those ones I've had good experiences in. So if you're traveling in a bigger group, you can take up pretty much a whole room. If you still are looking for kind of a maybe cheaper accommodation, but that's still a little bit more private. I also recommend packing a small bag for your trip so you don't have to pay for an extra bag. I typically use this one and tie or Velcro my extra shoes to the outside. Again, just so you don't have to pack and pay for an extra bag, especially on those weekend trips and also try to pack a kind of capsule wardrobe just to limit the, uh, the amount of things that you're packing. But I hope this helped everyone. It's definitely easier to travel from here than it is for me from home. So I've gotten to hit quite a few countries and hopefully over the summer we, we get to see a couple more.